How you doing fam bam? This is Chris Music here with another video about controlling your fans on your PC with a free piece of software I gotta share with you guys. And no, it's not speed fan because guess what? That's been unsupported for a while now. I wanna show you something a little bit newer. Just on the side note of things, if you have a PC and you're not sure if your fans can be controlled, just make sure that your fans are not connected to SATA power or any other power port by your power supply, whether it be SATA or Molex or whatever. If they are hooked up directly to your power supply, guess what? Your fans can't really be controlled. But the good news is there is a way that they can be. But you would have to disconnect it from your power supply and connect it to your motherboard. So that way you have some sort of control to your fans. Of course, the only negative side of things, if you do hook it up to your motherboard, it can raise your motherboard's temperature because you are drawing more voltage out of your motherboard. This free piece of software can even control your GPU fans. And I know that is a great thing for you gamers out there, especially that need that fan to kick on, especially when they've been gaming for a good while. So first thing I recommend to download is something like Libre Hardware Monitor or CPU ID or CPU Hardware Monitor because you're going to need something to see exactly what your PC is doing. So all you have to do is download something like this. I will have it in the description box down below for ease of access to get to it. Go to release and just hit download once you finish downloading libre hardware you just want to open up your file here and then you want to move it somewhere for ease of access just highlight it all extract to and i will just put it into libre at simply but you can put it anywhere that you choose to so after you extract it here you want to open up libre hardware monitor and you can monitor everything that your pc is doing you can monitor temperatures it's really nice and easy to use usually i'll have this start up with my pc and you and the nice thing on top of it is that you can actually show certain things you can show certain parts of your pc that you want to monitor such as i want to monitor my processing temperature because amd thread rippers get very very hot i always like to watch it most of the time here so i will just watch the main core temperature here so i will just put it here and then click show and tray and bam i'll have it right there on the bottom here so libre hardware monitor cpu id cpu hardware id any of those softwares would be really great to use reason why i mentioned libre hardware monitor is because the creator of this program called fan control has used the dll file for fan control so everything is monitored practically off of that or you can use a different dll if you so choose to and just replace the one in fan control but this is a really awesome piece of software it's completely free and again if you really like the software please donate to the guy because we can use more software just like this, especially in the PC community, if you like gaming or if you need it for your production type of work. And you can completely customize it and it's very awesome. I will have the link down below for this very software here. It is up on version 86, but for some reason it is not showing for available for download yet. But of course, by the time I post up this video, it may be ready for release already. So you wanna go here, you wanna download the most latest release so you download it. So after you download it, you want to extract it just like you did with Libre Hardware. And I don't believe you need me to show you that example again of exactly where to put it because you could really put it anywhere. So after you install the piece of software, so after you download it, you want to open up fan control. Now, right now I hid a lot of cards here. And as you can see, these are the cards that I hid because they are not really being controlled by my PC. What I mean is that these fans could be just being picked up because my fans are actually running on a series such as my Corsair radiator fans as you see listed right here and so are my other fans that are accessory to it they are running together so I have all six of them running mostly together but on two different headers so they are listed as radiator to fan as you see here now you're probably wondering exactly how do you find your radiator fans or how do you find any of your fans on your PC and I'll show you exactly how to do it in just a second. 
Now, if you're similar to me and you have these extra fans here that you know are not being used or it's just pick or the sensor just picked up these extra fans that you cannot control and you don't really need them you just can click this menu button here and just click hide as soon as you hide these fans they will disappear and because more than likely they will be irrelevant to you so you just want to hide these fans you just uncheck that mark right here where it says show hidden cards and bam they're gone so let me show you exactly how you can figure out how to find your fans. Now, more than likely, you're probably going to see something similar like this. You'll see fan one, two, three, and etc. Whatever number or whichever number that your fans are, you want to start from the beginning. So you can start from the beginning up here. And let's say I want to look for this fan here. Like say if this was fan number one and I didn't know it was fan number one. So you just hit this plus button down here and what you want to do is what's called a flat test. So you want to hit this flat fan curve right here. And what it'll show is show something like this. As you can see, I have it called test. I want the fan speed at 0%. That's exactly how fast the fan will spin. So that way I know exactly which fans to label it. Fan bam, I took off the front cover on my case fans so you can get a better idea of exactly what this program can do and how it is controlled so i'm trying to find these case fans up in the front which are my radiator fans as you can see that it's labeled already but if you want to label your fans just as i have and you want to be able to find them as you can see my fans already quiet down dramatically and you can see the fans have completely stopped spinning. So I know that these are the fans that are being controlled by this controller. So who needs a Corsair Commander Pro, right? So let's get these uh, spinning again before my PC gets a little too hot here. Hey fam man, guys, if you don't have a virtual private network, a VPN, then you're surfing the net unsecured. Hackers can know your bank information and besides, you can do really cool things such as watch your favorite movies that you can't watch here in the US such as uh, currently I'm connected to Hong Kong's network and I can go here onto Netflix and watch something that I can't watch here in the US. Now I can watch something cool like this, something here I can't watch in the US. So get ExpressVPN. If you want to get ExpressVPN, I have it exclusively for you, fam bam, for two months free. And you can try it out and it's also great for gaming. So this is a feature I should have mentioned in the first place. When you click the menu up here too, you can also find fans that you feel that are missing. If you're missing any of your fans and you don't want to make sure, just click refresh sensor detection and it will look for the fans that you have in your PC. So now it's just refreshing the sensors, just making sure that I have all those fans in there as I should. And if anything new or any other fans that should come up, make sure that you add it in your list here. So the next step I wanna show you is the target feature here and target feature is really an awesome feature here if you see my target here i want my temperature source to be the core of my amd as you know that i am concerned about temperature about my thread ripper processor so in order to control the speech as i want i hit this arrow button down here now for my idle temperature, as you can see, it's 35 degrees Celsius, and I want all my fans running at 50% when it is at idle temperature, so my PC is not as noisy. So when it hits 65 degrees Celsius on load, or when it reaches that high of a temperature, it will run at 90%. Now the response time is it won't run it immediately, just in case if you get those weird spikes in your PC to where for a second it just gets hot and then it just automatically just goes back down to normal temperature. You don't want your fans kicking on and off. So I have my response time set to about three seconds. So whichever fans that you prefer to have them under, whichever is named target, as you see up here, as my rear case fan is running off a of target, my radiator fan is run running off a of target, and so is my CPU pump is running off a of target.
So if it reaches those above temperatures, then it will hit 90% until it reaches back to its idle normal temperature, which is 35 degrees Celsius. You can also customize your GPU separately if you choose to for your target. So let's move this right over here. As you can see, my production is my GPU's temperature. So I hit this arrow here and I want the response time to actually be three seconds instead of just one second. And as you can see, adult temperatures at 35 degrees Celsius, it will run at 25% because most GPUs, especially now, will be able to uh, keep quiet. And you wanna be able to take advantage of the feature because if you know your because you'll know if those GPU fans kick on. And man, that is not a very pleasant sound you wanna hear. So under load, you wanna be able to test it out. You can test out the speeds of your fan to see exactly how loud it can get. Similar to what I did with 0% speed you want to do a full speed test so just add another flat curve run it at 100 percent and see how you like the sound of your gpus running at 100 percent and if you don't like that sound make sure you just lower your fan speed here of course you can always add more temperatures to it and this is the really nice feature about this software so let's go to add here and you can actually add something called the mix fan curve and what mixed fan curve is, you can actually run it off of maximum, sum, average. So what a mixed fan curve is, you can add a certain fan curve that you do like, like say target, and you can actually add another fan curve called production, right? So you can add these two and what it will do is it will actually mix out those functions. So you wanna average it out, it will average between those two. Now, of course, if you run it at maximum, it's gonna run the maximum. So you just have to set it to your mixed setting here and it will do exactly just quite that. So let's delete that function real quick. Another feature that it does also have is you can even do graphs such as you do with your overclocking. So let's say with your GPU, you wanna overclock your GPU here. You wanna do a curve for it. So all you have to do, just click edit right here and you want the response time to be three seconds here. Now at its lowest points, as you can see, you can have your curve. Just say you want your fans to really start kicking on and you want your fans to be pretty quiet here on this side of the curve because it's really not that much of an emergency if it passes this temperature say 49 degree say 56 degrees celsius now you can make it rise to 60 percent here now you know you really have to cool down your gpu once it hits this temperature here so you wanna hit about 90%. If it hits 90, which is way too high, you could hit it at 100% if you choose to. And all you have to do is click okay. And there you have, we can call this GPU graph. There's so much more customization to it. And again, if you really like the software, make sure you give a little something to the guy because he does some excellent work as you see. Also, other things you can do is you can actually disable your storage sensors if you'd like. You could actually um, start minimize. You could start with Windows, which I have currently checked off because this is a really great piece of software here. And another thing you can also do is you can also set your theme. You can even have your tray icon temperature source here. It's definitely better than any other piece of fan software you would get especially from other manufacturers such as asus or msi or gigabyte this is what fan control should really be i hope you found this video very useful if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up if you have any friends that can make very use of this very video make sure you share it all over your social platform of your choice and if you want to join the big wonderful fan man make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button for more and also make sure you follow my twitter handle right here as it is the same as my tiktok and my ig as well fan bam guys let me know exactly how you think of this software and let me know if it takes your pc to the next level thank you guys so much for watching this is chris mizo signing out